Everyone's complaining. They ain't got enough. The next one he'll tell will have him tearing out their hearts with his bare hands. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Wouldn't he? I don't know why you're so hard on John. He's always been good to me. He's good at telling people what they want to hear. Anybody would think you've given up on us all. The way you've been acting in camp recently. People been talking. People, huh? Not me. I'm a believer. I just heard things. Hey, because it sounds like you're talking from where I'm hearing. Hey, I'll be with Dutch to the end. You know that. Times are good. Everyone wants more. Ever since we got stuck up here, it's like you don't give a damn about no one no more. Uh, I hope Dutch really has got a plan. As soon as they got the horse, I knew I was done for. I cut and run, but I slipped on the ice, got myself trapped. Dropped as many as I could with what I had, but I was about all out of options when you fellas showed up. Remember this version of the tale, Javier. So, freezing, bleeding, starving? Damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you? Nah, you can do better than that. One thing you ain't short on is fantasy. Hey, look at this. The what? This necklace I made. Necklace? Hey, is that Yero? What? You know the red plane you're supposed to chew on when you get hurt? Oh, well, if you say so. Yeah, Uncle Isaiah told me about it once. Good. You should go get some. Let's hope the Pinkertons don't catch us like this, Arthur. Sorry, Arthur. If we ain't hitting the train, I'm heading back. Been a while since Marston and Morgan rode out in a posse. One of these days, I want to try my hand at liar's dice. Not that I'm saying I'm a liar. Hopefully, we'll catch a lot more than Trelawney next time we go fishing, Arthur. You know, I still question the rationale of moving into another gang's hideout. But here we are. We're going to go see if that other gang's home. Pay our respects, you in? This ain't what I thought when you said gambling, but here we are. It would be a grave error to refuse a man in his sexual prime. <laughs>